up guys what's up everybody so before we tell you what we're doing right now you'll see that in a later episode but what you need to know is that something really cool happened today the trailer for my movie and amber's movie moonrise came out today and it dropped today so we're going to show you right here want to know what I want for Christmas? Ellie. I want to ride Belle. You can't ride that crazy horse, Ellie. She's a couple beans shy of a good chili. Why you got to ride that one? Because Mama rode her. You might look just like your Mama, but she was the only one that could handle her. Claire's been gone two years. Maybe celebrating Christmas do everybody some good. Good morning. I'm Sam Lynn from the Horse Training Co-op out of Houston. Ellie, this is Sam Lynn, the horse trainer you apparently hired. I can't send her home after she's come all this way. I'm Will Brown. I we met before. He is, was, a country singer. Sorry, the only thing I know about country music is that songs about girls, pickup trucks, and cold beer. She's a beauty. Anybody ever tell you you're the spitting image of your mother? Everybody, before I chopped my hair off. So? It looks way better. How about you? I gotta go. Where'd he go so fast? I guess he doesn't like character. That looks like fun. Couldn't they just write a song? I lost my will after Claire passed. You're the one that got thrown off and is afraid to get back on again. You're afraid of me riding, afraid of singing, falling in love again. My dad always said there are some things in this world that words can't get to. That sounds like the beginning of a country song to me. But I don't have to move on I'll write it down in the words of a new song Better and better with time For every falling star For every broken heart For every minute that a minute And I fall apart Breathe in the next breath Don't listen to regret My story's not finished and I've got so much to live for yeah, I gotta So much to be thankful to God for Forever for First time in a long time. So keep on I felt the music again. We all did. Forever forward. Forever forward. Forever forward. So, it's not every day that you see this. This is not a good thing. But I saw out of the corner of my eye a dead deer. That was our biggest buck on the property. That's dead. I don't know how it died. It was old, it was like eight and a half, but it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Really bad. Come back later. guys a little backstory on this buck he is eight and a half years old I've seen him since a bait he was a baby here at the ranch it's high fenced and so that's why I've seen him um, for eight years but uh, yeah anyway to put it in perspective he was the biggest buck we had out here we don't have too many deer out here so it sucked to be able to find him I am uh, I uh, I'm, I've been managing this place ever since our dad passed away in 2014 and so I kind of uh, have taken the, the role of, of managing the ranch and um, feeding them protein, corn, uh, planting food plots and that sort of thing. We haven't really shot many because we've had a coyote problem for a long time and a hog problem and that kind of uh, decimates the fawn crop. But yeah, man, these days I, I just I enjoy um, managing them more than shooting them really. One of our dad's best friends was actually supposed to come out in December and shoot this because they reach like their peak maturity, antler size and all that stuff around five, six, six and a half years old. This guy was eight and a half like I said so they don't, he was in good shape when I saw him a few months ago. I don't know what happened, probably old age. 
Um, maybe some of the other bucks, the younger bucks, got to him because um, they're about to be rutting. But he was pretty fresh when I found him. So, pretty sweet buck though. Anyway, don't get to find too many of them, so it's kind of a blessing to find them. I'll mount them, probably European mount. Bob's amazing. What is this uh, piece called, G? The voiceover? Don't force your ideas. Think, I think. I could change the voiceover too, depending on what we film. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't have to be locked into that. I could change some of the words to match, but. Oh, to match this? Yeah, so Smith, Smith, you know the, um, the videos that Paul and I have done, we've done Me, the Tree, and River. One day I was alone, walking in the woods, looking at the magnificent trees around me. I had this crazy thought that, what if these trees could talk? What if they had a story to tell? The most important thing you could know? I think that's the one in Utah. He depends on nothing to support him, or to counsel him, or to make him what he is. That means that everything outside of God totally depends on God. It means that God is constant. And then we did the one of Lincoln that's called uh, How to Be a Man or something. Neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you if all men count with you, but none too much. So we're shooting another one of those. And look at this. Man, the camera doesn't pick up the fog. It doesn't? I mean, look, look it's just white. <laughs> that's what my camera sees too. But just there's something kind of cool about the white. <laughs> yeah. Just getting sky is cool. You walking. Yeah. This is very empty. There's a cotton field over there too. Let's just get some view of you walking here. Okay. Man, it's so quiet. I've actually never been here, so this is exciting to see. <laughs> I only see it through the computer. <laughs> yeah, back to the creek. Yeah, as Paul said, it's the Smiths, but he doesn't get to actually go to the locations that we film, so it's kind of neat. Going to the creek, see if we can continue this film. We literally don't know what, we're just making it up as we go. That's think, how we do on these. I think the, the theme is like a journey, you know? Like yeah. you're trying to find yourself. Yeah. All right. And I think what you'll do is you'll just, you'll enter frame, right? and then you hop off there. So I'll try to ignore this side and just see this, right? Okay. So like, this is a shot, I think. Mm, I think I could find something better. Yeah, let me shoot like down here or something. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, you can't walk up there. You can walk up to it though. Let's try that. Yeah, have you walk up to it, that's cool. Okay. And you can just stop like before that patch of grass right there. Okay. What's up? Fun day. Music video day. I love these kind of days. First music video at this house? Is it? I think so. I think it is. Yeah. We've done music videos in every house almost. Every house, but yeah. uh yeah. In this house, this is the first music video. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty soon I'll tell you what song this is for. We can't tell you yet. Well we can very soon. In fact, I actually don't know exactly when this video is going to come out, but it's going to be very soon to when you'll hear this song. Okay, it's actually called In This House. That's It's called In This House, which is why I'm shooting it in this house. But Paul's directing. Hey, Brian, you saw when he kept going out of the negative, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, uh, mate, instead of, like, trying to hit it... Oh, that was good. This is a follow focus, and so we are... I can control the camera. Uh, and just watching here. Can't see it at all on the, on the screen. It like looks like it's not on. Well, that's funny. <laughs> Look Does at this. like the polarizer? Oh, that's right. Let's take your word for it. <laughs> ben. Yeah. What are you doing, Ben? I am giving Remy some good pets. <laughs> We're at the music video shoot, of course. We all get forgiven. In this house we live in. 
I, I want to get a one more tight before okay. I pull out. the fire guys oh what are you on hey 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 all right that's it we uh wrapped day one Polly just crushed it ian just crushed it so did brian so did ben there's all this stuff yeah and maverick. <laughs> and maverick did all right so anyway we're gonna start back in tomorrow we're actually gonna shoot another song finish up some stuff on this song and shoot a very special video just for you guys yeah so that's it and yeah, all these songs are been coming out really soon, so we'll let you know everything. Yee yee. She saw him. She actually saw him. Up, so that's the house. Right. She, there's a road that goes around, and she saw him up on that ridge. This is about 400 acres, and so obviously they can go anywhere. But I have a feeling that they run in this creek for the majority of the time. And with the drought that we've had, this is kind of the only water source. Oh, all right. Thing. You got an acorn tree. You got acorns on the ground. If you're on this side of the property, you should see you should see some kind of sign. That dry. There's some of your root damage. Right on the other side of that pond. Yep. The pond's right there. Yep. There I was, where I was headed. So basically mom sent uh, Tyler a video of four hogs, two babies on the property, which is a lot for our property. We've been able to keep them off uh, up until now. So now Todd and Tyler and I are driving the ranch looking for signs uh, that the hogs are in that area so that we'll know where to put the trap. Cause it's kind of a pain to, you'll see that the trap is kind of a lot. And so it's kind of a pain to set it up and then reset it. So we want to put it in a spot where we know they are. So. As I just showed you, you can see those signs of the hogs rooting up the ground um, in the spot that we were just at. So um, it's fairly close to here. So I think we're gonna do it here um, and set it up in this spot because we know they've been here. You need to get them to trust this as a daily food source first. Does that make sense? So once they trust it as a daily food source, your camera's gonna go up, your gate's gonna go up, your feeder's gonna go up. We'll take your panels and we'll lean your panels up against that tree over there. I'll show you how to put the panels in and all that kind of good stuff. And the reason being, you want to trust them as a daily food source. Once they get it trusted as a daily food source, great. Now it's time to start putting the panels on. Don't put panels in slowly. Put them all up at the same time. Maybe they're dumb pigs. Maybe they have no idea. Maybe they've never seen a trap before in their lives. You never know. But you gain that intelligence. Which direction are they coming from? Are they using the gate? All right. They're not really using the gate. They'll feed around the gate because we're going to kind of feed around it. But that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, so do this for a week or two, and then come I wouldn't back. even say a week or two. They come back, back to back, two days in a row, they're ready for panels. Okay. And then go ahead and stick the panels. Okay. Hey, bro, if you're watching and want to send another one that I don't have to pay for, I'll take it. <laughs> We're going to do the most important system. Or the most important stuff, any trap, you got a cellular camera. What do you need for a cellular camera to work? Sell your phone. Sell your signal. Sell your signal. All right, so you go, yep, this looks like the great place to set up a trap. So the very first thing you do is turn it on and see if you can get a signal where you want to trap them. How often do you get signal and how often do you don't? On the ones um, There's a big difference between the antenna that's found in your phone and a six inch panel antenna on a 4G network. I've had no signal with the phone and full bars with this. Interesting. All right, but you gotta give a moment for that yeah, signal camera's tired. go that to the cell tower to find your phone and there it is <laughs> you can hit record and it starts recording it'll record for as long as you want it to record <laughs> Make sure it's sitting on that piece of angle iron. Okay. And I never not let go. 
All right? I'm gonna reach over and make sure that thing's all the way to the left. I'm still gonna hold on to it, stand up, and then I'm gonna let it go. Right underneath. All right, so you see that little stick out piece right there by your right hand? All right, you wanna make sure you miss the bottom side of this because then it'll just close it. Makes sense to kinda of come up. So you kinda of wanna come up straight, but you just wanna miss it. There you go. And then you're gonna hold that, hold it. Oh, nope, keep holding that. Always hold that. Can I let go of this? You can let go of that now, as long as you're holding that. Stand up, reach over yourself with your other hand and make sure that's all the way to the left. And then slowly, make sure your feet are out of the way. There you go. <laughs> Is that's that right. where you hit your fingers when that dropped? Yeah, I went to slam that thing and this finger got caught in between those two. Okay. So a little recap of what just happened. Well, we got a gate set up and the feeder set up and the camera set up. So the idea is we have all the panels here ready to go, but you don't put all the panels up at once. He said that you want to get them used to this new metal structure. And so it's like a process where you kind of get them used to it over time. So he even put corn right by this gate um, to get them used to it. And then so we'll just have the speeder going off and then over time they'll get used to it. We'll watch them on the camera and then you'll add the panels around and then you'll keep them used to it. He said you want to make sure you wait until all of the hogs that you have on the property are in it. Because if you just do, if you just trap like two of them, then the other four will now know that that trap is dangerous and they won't go to it anymore which i didn't think that they were that smart but apparently they do so get them used to this now set up the panels and then once they're all in it we'll trap them hopefully save some of the deer on here if you're like why are you guys trapping hogs that's inhumane what would you say to people who say that trapping hogs is uh inhumane i would say that most people that are watching this video and are fans of the smiths know about hogs they root all in plants so like farmers and stuff who plant corn crops they'll destroy 25 acres 50 acres of corn for us they literally eat all the white-tailed deer around here all the babies i don't know if they get into the calves the cows but yeah they, they destroy our fawn crop there you go we'll keep you updated we're gonna go try to move the cows to the other pasture so they don't mess all this up see y'all hey guys welcome back to the smiths so here's the deal we are installing a hog trap today jaeger pro hog trap but first we got to get these cows out of this pasture where we're going to set up the trap because it has a corn feeder in the middle of the trap does anyone know how to get cows to follow you so we got a bag cow feed we're going to see if they follow us i don't know if it's going to work good luck park Just like shake the bag. You gonna hand me the camera? Oh, we got a nugget. I threw out a few pellets so that they would know that it is actually food and now they're all just crowded around I where I threw it, so I probably shouldn't have done that. I think you're supposed to do like a call. See? Come on! We need a horn. Come here! I got some stuff. We need to move you to the other pasture. We don't know how to do it. Come on now! Here! Yeah! Here now! Here! Yep! Here now! How did you manage to do that? Hi. Okay. Say say bye to the Smiths. Say, say thanks for watching. <laughs> bye bye. So um, before we go, my tour dates for the year, I have I can read them right now. I have the 17th this Thursday and. Des Moines, Iowa, on the, on Friday the 18th, Hayes, Kansas, the 19th, Watertown, South Dakota, the 20th, Davenport, Iowa, and then the um, December 2nd, Newport, Kentucky. That's it. That's the only tour dates left in 2022. And 2023 is going to be light, so you might want to come see us. I don't I don't have any dates for 2023 yet, except maybe like one in Minnesota in January. Um, so anyway. But the cool thing is, 
Smiths, we have a very important announcement to make coming Thursday. So this next episode, Thursday's episode, very important announcement to make. Right, buddy? Do I know what it is? Well, I've, I've already filmed it, so maybe you don't, but it's a very important announcement we're making on Thursday Smiths. Okay. Like, huge. Huge? Well, I don't know that I know. You do know, you're just not thinking about it. Oh, you do you know? Oh, you got grapes. Okay, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all. See you Thursday. Yee.